Let's move on to Playboy, the next generation. Yes. Featuring its first transgender playmate. Yeah. This, of course, comes after Hugh Hefner has recently passed, so yeah. the next generation is coming in. His son, Cooper, is the chief creative officer. Uh, and what, who you're seeing right now is French model Ines Rowe. I think that's how you pronounce it. She Gorgeous. will appear as a November yeah, centerfold in the first issue since its founder, Hugh Hafner, died, as I mentioned. And Cooper said this, selecting a Miss Rowe, was very much speaking to the brand's philosophy. It's the right thing to do. We're at a moment where gender roles are evolving. Yes. Very true. He continues, this is really a moment for us to take a step back and say that so much of what the brand stood for in the early years is very much still alive in culture, which was really like pushing the boundaries. <sighs> I don't know if you yeah. knew that Playboy did. Do I that. just found out. <laughs> yes. That's, that's well, how people, news. Besides, I, a lot of people talk about with everything happening with Harvey Weinstein, obviously, Hugh Hefner not necessarily being a role model <laughs> to women. But at the same time, yeah. he, he did use his platform in media yeah. to speak out about a lot of issues happening in society, and he was an activist in that way. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. He was. He, he really liked to push those, like, you know, sexual normatives and gender normatives, like, that society tries to put on everyone. Um, but I think this is a huge step. I think it's amazing. I think this is also going to help, you know, the heterosexual, like, you know, audience or anyone to really kind of see, like, you know, you can be sexy regardless. And just because, you know, she's trans doesn't mean she's not a woman. And it just opens up a lot of doors and it opens up a lot of experiences that maybe people wouldn't know if they were just looking at, you know, just a regular issue of, like, Playboy. Yeah. So it's amazing. It's amazing. And it's also given, given permission to other people to talk about the same thing. And also experience what it's like to look at a beautiful woman. She is and a not, woman. By, and not, yes. you know, not see her as transgender. I think a lot of men are going to pick that up and say, that chick is hot. Right. And then as obviously discover be. her story. So it's really going to, I think, force, even though there are women that will look at Playboy, but let's just say it is from mostly men. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. So I do think there's going to be a lot of men that see this and go, whoa, I wouldn't have imagined this is someone that's transgender. So I think it's going to create a huge conversation. I love that.